Hey everybody, welcome back. If this is your first time here, this is Tattoo Collectibles, and I'm your host, Eric. Today on the What's in the Mail uh, segment, we've got some uh, books that have shown up that we think you're going to dig. Uh, and they're, the book market is becoming super hot as far as collectibles go in uh, tattooing. We're going to show you a little bit of that today. Got another a new machine head segment for those crazy machine head people out there. And, uh, and that's, uh, that's all coming up in the next, uh, in the next 20 minutes. So if you're, uh, if you're getting into these videos and digging them, uh, please hit the like and subscribe, uh, and, uh, we'll keep all this going. I'm going to flip it over to, uh, what's in the mail, Eric, and we'll see what's in the mail today. Check this out. What's in the mail? Oh, hey. Um, welcome to What's in the Mail. Thanks for uh, letting me know they were coming. So, today, uh, as uh, announcer Eric, uh, rude ass, was, um, was uh, telling you, we've got some books today in the mail. Now, we've got three books. I'm not sure uh, which is which is which. So, we're going to open the thickest one first, whatever, whatever this one is. This one is from... Rosamond, California. Rosamond, California. Oh, see what they sent us. It's a neat looking book, whatever it is. Can... Two weeks in a row, just having trouble getting stuff out of package. Oh, oh, wow. It even, it, it's got a... It's got almost a Bible-y feel to it. Uh, it's leather bound. It's called the Ink, or it's called Ink, The Art of Tattoo. And uh, like I said, it's a, it's a 20th anniversary, 20th an evictionary. That's what it says, an evictionary. Look at that right there. Anyway. Let's crack this some gun open and see what we got. Oh, that's cool. It's got a nice little uh, forward by someone in there. Tattoo flash, tat snaps, tat talks. So that's neat. Yeah, that's um, it's a book mainly of tattoo. Uh, just it's got pictures, it's got stories, it's got flash in it. Uh, the flash in it is super cool from what I've seen. Um, for any of y'all that are uh, local, like, look at that. I know a guy that'll go right on. Um, so yeah, if, if you're local, come on down. We'll put some of this cool stuff on you. Um, it's got a ton of uh, material in it. There are pictures in the back, uh, uh, similar to like old Tattoo Magazine pictures. Um, I think I paid seven bucks for this book. Uh, it is totally awesome. If you see this one, grab it. It's called Ink, the Art of Tattoo. It's a, it's a nice book, leather bound, like I said. The, uh, the pages on the edges are all black. That's, no, they're not inside. It's a, they're white pages inside, but they've got the, uh, the black on the, uh, the edges. I wonder if it's got a picture. No. Don't think I'm going crazy. Sometimes, uh, like on old Bibles, when they're gold on the edge, if you push the top of the Bible back a little bit while it's sitting on, on a table, it will reveal an image on the side that they printed micro print on the side of the pages. Um, yeah, sneaky, that they used to be sneaky as all get out. Uh, but like I said, $7 book, get you one of these. If you see it out there, I, I dig that. I, uh, I can't wait to see more from it. Here's another one from Mr. Daly. Um, for the last two episodes, we've gotten something from him. Oh, nice. This, I know what this is. Um, these are going nowhere but up, okay? This is uh, Sailor Jerry Tattoo Stencils Volume 2. Uh, it's by uh, uh, Miss Kate Hildebrandt. Yep, with an introduction by Lyle Tuttle. I mean, if you can get, um, if you can want for more than that uh, and think that you're gonna get it, 
you will not. Uh, it's got a couple cards in there for me again. There's a, a couple uh, Sacred Heart uh, from Sacred Heart Tattoo. Now, um, Kate worked with Sailor Jerry uh, in um, in Hawaii. I, if it, if I'm not mistaken, I believe she was his last apprentice. Uh, but this, if you do old school work in your shop, and if you're not doing old school work in your shop, um, you get you an old school artist in your shop. There are a bunch of like super tattooable designs in here. Uh, if nothing else, it'll spark some um, some ideas for you. Maybe you don't want to do the old school eagle, but you want one in that uh, pose. This will come in handy for that. This is chock full of old stencils. Um, this book, I, again, I got pretty cheap. Um, and if you can, if you can find one of these for under a hundred dollars, grab it. Uh, I think this one was like 50 bucks. It may have been cheaper than that, honestly. Um, and I, again, I hate to talk about prices on stuff, but this, this was really low for what it is. Um, it will definitely, and this is for any tattoo artist out there listening, this book will pay for itself the very first time you use it. First time you use it, you've made 100% back of what you put into it. That is why it is great to grab these when you see them. Um, it's, a, uh, it's a great reference material. So, last but certainly not least, and I'm not sure what this one is, but it's, it's from Thrift Books. Um, in Dallas, Texas. So, I'm not sure what this is. Sometimes I will just type in tattoo book and see what comes up. And if I don't have it, I, uh, I like to, I like to read them. So, I'm not sure what this is. And some of them I've gotten, I've been like, who wrote this? This is dumb. Oh, neat. It, it looks like a, uh, like a box of cigars. That's, it, it almost has that, that feel to it. It's got a cigar box look. And even on the back, it looks like a, like a box of some sort. Um, this is by Martin Lacassi. It says, take what you can, give nothing back. So it's kind of a piratey, piratey feel book. Oh, neat. And it's just a sketchbook. Well, just, it's just a sketchbook. It's a sketchbook filled with awesome uh, tattoo art. Uh, Nouveau traditional to like um, new wave Japanese stuff is in here. Just super nice, uh, full color uh, panels. Now stuff like this, I, I love because uh, you know, you're sitting there talking with a client and some people cannot see pictures in their head like we can. And I, I wish I said, I wish I could say I learned that when I was a kid. Uh, but my wife brought that up to me maybe 10 years ago and she's like, you know, everybody can't see pictures in their head. And I'm like, well, that, that's a bummer and it makes me sad. So uh, when you are, I'm not going to show you that one because it's kind of racy. Uh, but when you're, let's say you're, you're saying that you want to do a, uh, a koi fish that's, that's coiled up, you've got something that you can show them visually, you know, something like along these lines. Um, it's always better to have something to show people visually uh, when you do this for a living. Um, all your apprentices out there, don't be afraid to pull a book out and be like, check this out, something like this. And then if they want that exact thing, I usually try to talk them out of it. Um, let me draw something up for you that's, that's not. But I mean, this is a book full of flash. So um, you could tattoo directly out of this. Now, for all you apprentices out there, when you do take something directly out of, uh, out of a book, uh, that's fine. Uh, Flash has been around forever and we replicate it on the, the often. What you don't do is you don't tell somebody that it's a, a custom piece or a piece that you've drawn when you got it out of the book. Just fess up, let them know it's out of the book. They're, they're, if they love the design, they're not gonna care. They're, they're gonna let you tattoo something awesome anyway. So, um, I mean, it's is it nice to be able to draw something custom for people? Absolutely. 
Uh, it's what I live for. I love that shit. Um, does it kill me to tattoo designs from other people? No, I like that too. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, that was almost a, ooh, we almost had a uh, soapbox warning there. We don't want that. Well, the announcer will get on me about it. So, uh, that's it for what we had uh, for ever what's in the mail today. Um, all three books are super cool. I'd say grab them if you can. Uh, this one, I like, I think this one is, is probably uh, one of my favorites this week. It, it's got a ton of, uh, but it's, it's kind of hard to pick because that art of tattoo is really cool. And the set, Sailor Jerry, you can't go wrong with Sailor Jerry. So if you see books out there, don't be afraid to pop on them. And um, some of them are quite expensive now. They weren't when they first came out. Uh, I've got a Spider Murphy book in there. Love it. I have tattooed a bunch of stuff out of Spider Murphy. Now, if you go to get a Spider Murphy, they are quite pricey. Uh, I think when I got it, it, and it was pricey for a book even when I bought it. Uh, I think I, I paid upwards of two or 300, 350 when it was just out, when it was new. And even when I first bought it, I thought, wow, that's, that seems really high. And then I saw what was inside of it. And I'm like, yeah, I, I would have paid more. I should have paid more for that. <laughs> so anyway, until we see you next week, y'all have a great week. And um, we'll see you again. Take it easy. Born December 19, 1906 in Hammond, Louisiana, his father, William H. Coble, worked as a farmer and a carpenter. The family moved from Louisiana to Frankfort, Indiana, and in 1914 opened a family photography studio, according to a 1914 billboard. By the late 1930s, Bernard had worked his way into the family business, which at the time became known as W.H. Coble and Son. Bernard brought a youthful energy to the business and started taking photos and making them available to newspapers and magazines. At this time, photos were sent over the phone and were known as wire photos. The Coble family made the move from Indiana to Clearwater, Florida in 1955, where they ran their photo business from their home, much like they had in Indiana. It was here in 1960 that Grace, his mother, had died, with his father William following in 1963. Bernard carried on the family business after the deaths of his parents and grew the business quite a bit with the addition of his mail order catalogs in publications such as Billboard, Travel and Camera, Bandwagon, as well as other men's magazines. At one time, having as many as 10 catalogs with subjects ranging from unusual epitaphs, circus freaks, wrestling women, and tattooed people, just to name a few the most successful by far being the tattoo catalog. In 1972, Coble started to talk about his health as the reason for his semi-retirement. He said that his diabetes had sapped his enthusiasm for hunting down new images, and as Cindy Ray had left the business and Milt Zeiss had died, left him with few places to get new photos, both of these being his main suppliers. Soon after, Coble had started to sell off his collection's negatives. Spider Webb, a famous tattoo artist, upon hearing this, contacted Coble at his home in Clearwater, Florida, and offered to buy all of the tattoo negatives. Spider remembers the price being $5,000, to which he said, yes, I will take them, and the deal was done. Spider received a knapsack full of negatives, and in 1976, he and McGraw-Hill produced the book Heavily Tattooed Men and Women, using the photos he had purchased. In 2002, Schiffer Publishing reprinted this book. Coble died August 1st, 1985 in Clearwater, Florida. Despite being a photographer his entire life, no known pictures ex exist of him. He had set out to earn a living f photographing the underbelly of society and accidentally became one of the greatest historians of the tattoo industry. Okay, so... That's what we had for you this week. Uh, it was kind of a short, uh, sweet little episode there. Um, 
we will definitely be back here in a couple weeks with some neat stuff. Uh, I've got some, uh, I've, I'm looking at uh, what we have left and what we have left is pretty cool. So stick around and uh, see what we got coming at you next, uh, next time. Until then, what I'd like y'all to do is I'd like y'all to stay safe. I'd like y'all to be nice to each other. And I want you all to keep on connecting. Thanks for watching and please hit the subscribe button down below and check out these videos. We've worked real hard on these too and I think if you enjoyed this one, you'll enjoy those too.